guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous sublimation project for you. Now, if you like sublimation projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you're always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to sublimate on these cute frosted water bottles from Walmart. All right, guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio, and you know, it is my absolute favorite software for setting up and printing my sublimation files. And of course, if you're looking for a software to use with sublimation, or you are interested in learning more about Silhouette Studio, we do have a really great introductory video already on our YouTube channel that is an introduction to using Silhouette Studio for sublimation. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. There's a lot of great information in there. But today I am going to give you the basic overview of of pulling in a file and uh, we're going to size it and go ahead and print it from the software. So first thing, let's go ahead and check our page setup panel here because that is the first step that I like to do when setting up my sublimation designs. I'm going to go ahead and change my media size to letter because that is the size of paper that I'm working with today. And then I'm going to turn on my show print border because that's important. This thin gray line around the outside basically tells me what my printer settings are set up to print. It's a preview of my printable area in the software, and it can often, often be an early indicator of, um, you know, issues with what my page uh, setup settings are on the printer level. Okay. So just make sure you turn it on. It can save you a little bit of heartache. And the next thing we're going to do is go to file and merge and we are going to bring in, let's go to our downloads folder. We are going to bring in a Tumblr design. Here we go. Now this is a skinny straight Tumblr design. And you know, I have worked with a lot of skinny Tumblr designs, so I get to cheat a little bit, but I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to lock my aspect ratio. And then for my width, I'm going to type in eight point to five inches. Oh, just kidding. I meant for my height, I'm going to type in 8.25 inches and then I'm just going to center the page. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. Okay. Now flipping or rather mirroring is something that you can do either in the software or you can do it at the printer level, but you don't want to do both. So just make sure that you're only mirroring one time. Otherwise your print ends up right facing and that's not what you need for your sublimation project today. Now, um, if you saw from the preview, I am going to press this on an orange frosted bottle. So I chose my design knowing that these pinks and yellows and teals are not going to look like this after I press them on my bottle. They're going to be more muted because they're going to take on the orange tint of the bottle. So imagine if you have orange construction paper and you're coloring on it with crayons. It's the same thing. Your colors aren't going to be as bright and they are also just going to take on the orange shading. So I expect my teal to be darker and I expect pretty much almost everything else to look some shade of orange. Okay. Now we can go ahead and print. I'm just going to go to file and print and we're going to get a nice little print preview here. I really like it a lot. I'm going to go to print down here at the bottom. I can select the printer that I'm working with today. If I need to update any of my preferences like page size or anything like that, I can do that here. I don't need to. So I'm going to go ahead and go to print. And then, um, once this prints out and I grab it off the printer, we're going to go over to our work area and I'm going to tell you all my tips and tricks for sublimating on these frosted water bottles. All right, guys. So what I have here, this is our frosted water bottle from Walmart. And I won't lie, I have been holding onto this and hoarding it for quite a while. Um, I picked it up in the spring, but I knew it would be the perfect color for a fall water bottle. Then I have my sublimation print that we printed from the software, some heat safe tape, scissors, and this is my subly shrink shrink wrap. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and trim down my print. And I just want to trim right along the edge here. Now, if you have a straight edge cutter, that works exceptionally well, but I'm just using scissors today. And then I'm going to take a length of heat safe tape. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Now it doesn't have to be the exact size of my tumbler, but what I like to do is go ahead and take my cleanest side. 
I'm gonna lay the tape down and I'm just going to lay my print right on the edge. And then I can take, now let's go ahead and take the lid off of our tumbler here. And I'm going to line up the bottom. That helps me to keep it straight. I'm gonna fold it under and then I can go ahead and overlap and push my tape down into place. All right, that just helps me to really get a nice tight seal. And then I'm also going to pull off, this feels like silicone, but I don't wanna take any chances, so I'm gonna pull that off. So here is our tumbler. Now I do have a little bit of overwrap here. Now, all right, let's talk about that for a minute because it's nice and flat on the bottom and I like that, but I am gonna have some trouble up here around the top. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and snip it. These are about half an inch apart. I don't need it perfect around the top because I'll be honest with you, I don't like a really hard seam anyway on a curved surface like this. Of course, I would have preferred to be able to, um, you know, actually have it tapered, but that's not usually possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and take some more heat safe tape and I'm gonna try to wrap it. Now, like I said, I'm not expecting that to be perfect. I just want it to be enough. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just going to overlap one piece over the other, okay? And as you start to push them down, you'll notice that they kind of lay that way. They kind of feather, you see what I'm saying? So we're gonna take our tape and go ahead and grab the edge of that. And as we put them down, I'm gonna use the tape just to push them down in place. Now this is not something that I would do on a normal, um, water bottle, but I chose a design that was distressed. So even though there will be parts of this the design that don't sublimate really well, this is going to help hold it in place. And then our shrink wrap is going to kind of take care of the rest of it. And any parts that are missing, we just know that that was the cost of sublimating on a water bottle like this. There we go. To see what we got going on. We do have some buckles and some things like that. If you want, you can trim those a little bit. You can take like a craft knife and, and do some relief cuts, um, but our shrink wrap will help to push those down as well. So let's go ahead and take our shrink wrap, feed our water bottle through until it's in the middle. Make sure both ends are covered. And then we're gonna take our heat gun and we are going to apply the heat as this shrinks to our water bottle. Just be careful with your hands because the heat gun does get pretty hot. All right, now you can carefully pick it up and my oven is already preheated. I am doing 375 degrees. I'm gonna do three minutes and then turn it over and do another three minutes for a total of six. All right, so I have some tweezers and some scissors, and I just have a little glovey. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's not um, super effective. <laughs> like It is silicone, so it does protect my hands, but it'll warm up after a while. But um, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and work on removing our shrink wrap here so I can show you guys what the bottle looks like afterwards. All right, so let's grab our tape along the top. All right, so very carefully, you don't wanna cause any ghosting. We're gonna go ahead and just grab the edge and unroll our design right here. And ta-da, this is our sublimated water bottle. So it's not as dark as it looks. Um, I'm gonna let this cool off and then I will get the up close and personal and show you guys exactly what it looks like. All right, so let's take a look at our tumbler here. There we go. So it took those nice bright colors, which for most seasons would be fine. But for a nice fall tumbler, these look really, really good. You can still see the teal and the yellow, but they're a much more muted fall uh, type of color pattern. And I really like them a lot. And we got good results all the way around. I am not complaining about this at all. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the top. You can see we did get a little bit of the wrapped look all the way around the top, which is what we were going for. Now, I will say that if I was doing this on a white tumbler, I wouldn't be satisfied. And of course, I would stop it down here and do a feathers sort of look. 
but um, you know, you these frosted tumblers are very forgiving, especially the color tumblers, okay? And same thing around the bottom, I got a nice, nice good wrap, but overall, I'm very happy with it. Now, we have our little silicone piece. We're gonna just pop that right back here in the lid. There we go, now. Let's go ahead and add the bamboo cap right back on, it twist right in place, and there is our finished tumbler. So I'm very happy with it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the project today. Now, like I said, these are seasonal, so you may not find them in every Walmart and every time of the year, but if you can, I definitely recommend snatching them up because they are worthwhile and very inexpensive. So that's our project for today. So guys, how did you feel about our super cute fall themed sublimation water bottle. Now, like I said, these are really great finds at Walmart. I cannot take credit for knowing that it is sublimatable, but you know, it's always fun to find these items and for a little bit of money, be able to test it out and see if it's something that you can use with your crafting. I'm always on the lookout, basically to any store that I go to, to see, uh, you know, just for new projects, new items and new ways to incorporate crafting into my decor and just pretty much every aspect of my life, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> but for today, guys, I am going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos. So. Thanks again, guys. I do appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you again next time.